It really is a standing view from up here. I wish you could all see yourselves. It's a fa fantastic turnout. I actually think that the crowd today is bigger than we were yesterday. I hope you're all ready to march this afternoon at the end of the court hearing. So stay around and get ready to march later this afternoon. And remember, all that's being asked for here is a full hearing in a high court. There has been no full hearing of the Assange case except in a magistrate's court. Now a magistrate's court in this country is the lowest court. It's the court that you go to if you have a parking ticket, if you have a speeding fine. That's the level of case that is normally heard in a magistrate's court. They do not and should not be the final judges of the most important civil liberties case of the 21st century. And leading the campaign to make sure that that is not the case, that it is not left to the judgment of a single lowly magistrate has been Julian Assange's wife, Stella Assange. pathetic the US case is. They have to rely on lies. And then the prosecutors say, don't question these lies because that would offend our ally. 14 years on, all they can do is repeat the lies from the very first Pentagon conference, press conference talking points sheet. What they're trying to argue is that state secrets trump revealing state crimes. This is the balance they're trying to shift. They want impunity, they don't want to be uh, scrutinized, and journalism stands in the way. And in that courtroom, they are having to make their position increasingly clear. They have to admit that what they're doing is criminalizing journalism, is criminalizing the truth. They are liars, they are criminals, and they are persecuting the journalists who expose them. Julian is a truth teller, he is a political prisoner, And the world is watching these courts and how they deal with this case. Please be here and come and march to Downing Street after uh, the proceedings are over this afternoon. Thank you.